see, I can tell you the history of the Peacemaker, and that's what they call the Friday. The Friday was always called the Peacemaker because of the late night of reveling on the town. The husbands would stop by the local grocery store and stuff and bring a fried oyster po'boy home to the wife <laughs> as an offering of peace for being out so late. For me, everybody's dress is different, you know. Classic for me is just mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes, maybe some butter pickles. And that's why they have hot sauce on the tables. Uh, that way you can sort of be in control of your own heat with the crystal or with the, with the, the uh, Tabasco, of course. Acadiana restaurant, and this is Leidenheimer bread from New Orleans. It's the official bread of most pulpoy shops down there, and this is the one we use at Acadiana. And this was shipped in or brought on the plane last night, so it's still good and fresh from New Orleans. Hi, Ann Cashin. I am co owner and chef at Johnny's National Restaurant in Washington, D.C. It's like I'm on. Fresh garnishes here. <laughs> Lettuce, tomatoes, some really nice pickles. Tomatoes are beautiful too. Do you want to do that? Uh, my name is David Gwass here at the White House today uh, for promoting Louisiana seafood. And we're going to make a uh, 30 foot long po' boy with uh, fried oysters from the Gulf, Louisiana, and also fried shrimp. Beautiful shrimp, sweet shrimp. Right here I've got mayonnaise and a little bit of Creole mustard, whole grain mustard. Davis customizes his own sandwich. Yes, like. exactly. It's, <laughs> when I fix it how I like to eat it. Um, <laughs> Jeff Bubin from Vidalia Restaurant in Washington, D.C. Uh, the first time I went to New Orleans, I called Jeff Tunks and I said, where do I get a po' boy sandwich? And he sent me to a place called Mother's and told me that it, I shouldn't leave until I tried every one of them. But what he didn't tell me was you have to stand in line for about an hour and a half. Yeah. In 100 degree heat. <laughs> so I stood in line for an hour and a half, and in three days in New Orleans, I was back there every day. And